In this video, you will see a step-by-step -step installation of our ProDriver Series Rear Disc Brake Conversion Kit for the GM 10 and 12 bolt applications when equipped with C-Clips. Included in every ProDriver Series Rear Kit are precision machined 12-inch directionally vented rotors that have been slotted and drilled. Each backing plate is manufactured out of 6061 billet aluminum to ensure strength and anodized for durability. Internal to the rotor is a modern park brake assembly similar to what GM uses today. Stopping becomes even less of a concern with our four piston calipers. CNC machined out of 6061 billet aluminum, each caliper features stainless steel pistons and are assembled with a set of high performance street friction brake pads. The clear powder coat finish will not only look great, but also last a lifetime. Also included are the stainless steel flex lines, banjo bolts with crush washers, and adapters needed to connect to your existing brake lines. Before starting installation of any brake kit, you want to make sure you've read through the instructions provided and make sure you have your vehicle properly secured on jack stands or a lift. We'll be installing this conversion kit on the rear of a 72 Pontiac Le Mans equipped with 17 inch wheels and an LS2 engine swap. After removing your factory brake parts, inspect your axle flange and bearings for any excessive wear as this may cause an issue later on. Begin the installation by installing the aluminum backing plate with the park brake shoe assembly installed. The factory drum backing plate hardware can be used, however, for this installation we elected to replace the factory bolts with new hardware. The new rotor requires your axle flange outer diameter to measure 5.9 inches. Should your axle outer diameter be larger, you can always have it turned down in a lathe. You're now ready to reinstall the axles. Be sure to also reinstall the C-clips to retain the axle's position. This will be required in order to center the caliper to the rotor. Next, install the aluminum mounting bracket for the caliper onto the backing plate. If removed, Slide the caliper slider sleeves in place at this time as well. Once installed, the rotor can now be slid into place. With the brake pads removed, place the caliper over the rotor and bolt it in place. For proper function of the brakes, the caliper will require centering over the rotor. Measure between the caliper and the rotor to determine the necessary shims required. Remove the caliper and place the desired shims between the bracket and the backing plate. Once verified, place the pads back into the caliper and assemble for the last time. Install the stainless steel hoses to the centering valve on the caliper and to the adapter on the rear axle. Be sure to tighten and check all hose connections before bleeding your brakes. You have now installed Master Power Brakes Pro Driver Series Rear Disc Brake Conversion Kit. Be sure to follow all break-in procedures included in the instructions. For more information or additional technical assistance, call Master Power Brakes at 888-351-8781 or visit mpbrakes.com.